Hi there guys and welcome to another blowdown episode. Okay, so in today's episode, me and Potty tried really really hard this morning to go spear fishing. Um, but the unfortunately the water was very dirty. We had a couple of dives at Muscle Bay Point, but unfortunately we could not. Okay, so then I decided um, let's do an episode on what to look for in weather. So the first part we're gonna do is spear fishing. What do I look for before I go spear fishing? Was always always my, my number one choice will be spear fishing. And then um, next up will be deep sea fishing and then estuary fishing and then rock and surf because as you've known i'm not a big fan of rock and surf but um yeah so before we get started with the episode remember to order the hoodies blow down hoodies we've got the green one and the blue one and we've got all the blue, uh, shorts my number will be in the comment section we're gonna allow everybody to order up until the end of january so please get your orders in um it takes about two weeks after we put the, the order in so end of January, we're going to put the order in and then middle of Feb, we'll have our hoodies and swimming shorts. Okay, so let's start with spear fishing. Okay, so whenever I try and go spear fishing, I will look at the previous two or three days and then I'll look at the, the next day as well. So in our area, I'm going to show you everything um, on Sedgefield because that's my home hunting ground. But every area is different stuff that you need to do. Um, that you um, can work on uh, or, or look for. Okay, so the very first thing I will do is I've got a couple of WhatsApp groups. So if you're not on WhatsApp groups, get yourself on the local WhatsApp groups for that area that you want to spearfish because then you can ask the guys that, that live there, how's the water looking? Do you think it will work? How's the swell looking? Because that's all stuff that you need to consider. Specifically, Viz, the first thing you need to consider is Viz. But there's another place that you can actually go if you don't, not on a, on a WhatsApp group, phone the local dive shops, okay? So yeah, in George, we don't have local dive shops, but we do in Mossel Bay have Electro Dive. Um, so on Instagram, I'm gonna switch over to the computer now. So on Instagram, um, Electro Dive, I'm just gonna quickly search for them. Um, Instagram, Electro Dive Mossel. Okay, there's a lovely lady that uh, normally absolutely scuba. The other name is absolutely scuba. So here we are in at there. You can see Electrodive Absolute Scuba, um, and this lady over here gives very very nice reports on on everything that you need to know about the water. So you can see there's a couple of reports that she gives. Um, you can see she's standing at the water. So normally that's one of my go-tos. I'll, I'll, I'll quickly pop in on, the, on their Instagram page and see what they are up to. Are they diving? Aren't they diving? Are they going out? Or you can give them a quick phone call and they are very helpful and they'll quickly tell you, yes, uh, the water is clear or no, we've got one meter of us. We went out this morning. So that's, that's a very good spot to start. Okay. Like I said now, WhatsApp groups first and then after that I'll go into um, local local knowledge basically um of what we go then i go on to magic seaweed so the area that i want to dive is swatfa you can see it's one of my um search my probably my only search result okay so now i'm going to give you a little bit more of a tip on on this on swipe play um okay I'm, i'll be looking at the seven day forecast you have got the seven day forecast now okay so this is tuesday for today there you can see the seven day forecast okay so then I'll be looking at, uh, for me, because I'm, I'm short, um, I'm going to be surf launching. I want to look at the surf. So this is all the surf. Magic Seaweed is actually a surf website. But for the stuff that I do, because I do Nasna, I do Sedgefield, I do Kaimans, I do Gouritz, I'm looking at the surf. But this is kind of stuff that you're looking at the surf. So now I'll look at surf small today. Surf is very small tomorrow, 0.6 to 0.9. Um, surf is still acceptable, 2 meter surf is still fine, um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, okay, so the surf is fine, I don't have a problem with the surf, next thing I'll be looking at is the wind, okay, so we were out today, this morning, and as you can see, the wind wasn't too bad, and then it started to pick up at 12, that's exactly what it did, okay, west, southwest means it will clear the water, but this is what happened this morning, that easterly wind that was blowing during the night, made the water very 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 dirty okay even though the westerly was blowing west southwest was blowing um didn't help it help at all okay so now there's rain coming 
and there's massive um, winds coming. So that's 30, 40 kilometers, 30, 20. Um, surf is still fine, like I said, but there's rain predicted for Gerakas and luckily that south wind. South wind is never good for fishing. Yeah, um, spear fishing a little bit different, but the fish tend to disappear. I don't know why, but as you can see, there's rain, 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 um, and yet it turns southeast again. So obviously with that kind of wind, uh, it eliminates the opportunity of spear fishing and fishing, deep sea fishing as well. Um, okay, let me quickly explain a little bit about this. So the water yesterday and the day before was 21 degrees. Uh, with the easterly wind that came in, east and, east and southeast wind that came in, cooled down the water all the way to 19 and some places 17 and a half. And then at the bottom, we had a thermal line. And I'll show you a video clip here of, of how the bottom looked like. Um, at the top, it wasn't too bad, 19 degrees. And then as soon as you go down into the deeper water, you came a thermocline and that thermocline was around about 14 degrees. So that's what the easterly wind did uh, during the night. So the west will clean up a little bit for Gerica side. Mossel Bay doesn't have that westerly wind. And then the south will also uh, help it out a little bit. But um, this southeast that's going to be blowing here on Friday, that's not going to help it at all. That's going to make it cold again. So it looks like the spear fishing is out for a couple of days okay so um, that's the one app that I use we can use Windfinder just to confirm I'll go over to Windfinder and I'll say uh, swat flay search field and uh, I'll just confirm that it is the same okay very important thing that the the Windfinder um, website shows you is the air pressure you you've heard me um, Talk about a lot about this the air pressure over here so um yeah the air pressure was very low today 1007 i don't usually go out anything below 1010 anything above 1020 that's uh, 1017 15 to 17 is my ideal okay wave direction wave height this is a little bit more uh, higher waves but it drops down two meters the wave height still no problem there's your problem that rain is a big 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 problem for thursday and for wednesday wednesday and thursday there's rain predicted and there you can see um, that the barometric air pressure has picked up again so on friday even though the conditions might be fine to go fishing um, that air pressure is a little bit too high so even though the the wind is is a little bit better uh, let's just get that uh, i need to go to the settings I want the wind speed in kilometers per hour. Mm. Yeah, there we go. Kilometers per hour. I want to see the wind in kilometers because uh, Magic Seaweed is in kilometers per hour. So I just can compare those two. Okay, so the wind is fine. Anything below 25, uh, wind is fine. So I'm not so worried about the wind. Um, but I'm not going to go out in that rain. And then on Friday, the wind seems fine. Um, but the barometric air pressure is a little bit too high. So when I'm spear fishing, it doesn't make that big a dif dif difference. Because the fish is still there. They're not eating. They're not on the, on the bite at the moment. But they are still there. So it doesn't make that big a, a difference. But um, yeah, the, the wind uh, direction, wave direction, wind speed, wind direction. Yeah, you can see the wind direction. Um, south east in east so that's going to make the water dirty so on friday probably no diving because that's going to make the water dirty okay so that's how i decide whether i'm going spear fishing so you can see now that the wrong wind's blowing the water's already dirty i've checked the groups i've spoken to some people on whatsapp so obviously probably no diving for the next couple of days four or five days at least uh, for the water to clean up then I'll go over into deep sea fishing. Um, obviously conditions are the same. If I, if I can go out spear fishing, then the surf and everything is flat enough. But then I'll go and look at the barometric air pressure. So now I'll see that the barometric air pressure is today and tomorrow it's too low. And then it's raining, so I'm not going to sit in the rain and fish on the ocean. And then um, it's too high again. So probably going to be, here we go. There, that's probably going to be a better day on Saturday into Sunday on that dropping 
Uh, Saturday evening, Sunday morning will probably be a, a good time to go fishing. Okay, okay. Another great point uh, to, to make to take notice of is when I decide to go fishing, I always check where do I decide to go fishing. So I always check the charters. This is a very important tip that I'm giving you. So in Mosul Bay, we've got Go Fish Tours with Sean May. Okay. Um, so I'll check. They check all the local spots. Ask the local people. So here you can see Sean hasn't posted anything this December. It's only advertising his tours, advertising sharks. Okay, so this was 24th of December. They called it Thrasher Shark. And 23 December, let the big catch uh, battles begin. This is only advertisement. Um, so there's a cop derby. So he hasn't posted a lot. But normally, you can check out the local um, charters because they have to get business in. So as soon as they, they need business, so they must post their catches. Let's check another one. Let's search for Muscle Bay Charters. Let's see what pops up. Uh, Muscle Bay Flying Fish Charters. Let's check that they've been posting. Um, 5 October, no, they haven't posted a lot. Um. Okay, so here you see catch a lot deep sea fishing charters in Mosul Bay. Um, book now, 900 Rand. Let's see if they've posted any recent catches. There we go. Two days ago, they posted some nice cobbies being caught. Um, four days ago, they just posted a lot of people on the boat. There we go. So here you can see 23rd of December, um, the guys caught some fish, Santas and stuff like that. So go check, even if you say um, Strays by Charters. Let's see what pops up. Straits by fishing charters. Uh, Straits by fishing charters. You can see the charters. You can see them running out. Yeah, you can see. Okay, this is what I'm looking for. 16th of December. You can see they were catching yellow tail. Okay, so if you want to go out the 17th of December, go check. 16th of December, yes, they did catch a couple of tails. You know there's tail in the water. The water is clean or whatever the case may be. Okay, so check your fishing charters on Facebook. They give it away because they need the clients. They must uh, advertise that they've caught fish today to get the, the next week's booking. So that's a very good place to start. So um, now I'm going to go over to the part where I explain the estuary fishing. Okay, so for estuary fishing, um, I go nice now. Kleinbrak, Sagefield, I haven't done a Sagefield episode, I have I fished there quite a couple of times, but I haven't done a Sagefield episode for you. I'll go Naisna, um, Kleinbrak, Gouritz, or Witsa. That's my, my four main, main estuaries that I'll fish. Okay, so let's do, which one I'm going to do? Let's do Naisna because I've been fortunate the couple, last couple of times with Cop and fish at Naisna. So let's quickly search all this stuff for Naisna. Naisna. Okay, I'm going to switch that one to Nisna, and then on, um, I used the magic seaweed, I used Buffalo's Bay, Buffalo's Bay, um, because I used the tides um, on, on the estuary, for, for the estuary, so on the, on the, it shows the tides and the um, high tide and low tide and stuff like that, because that's very in, in, important to me. Okay, so the first thing that I'll look is wind finder. I will check, I've got a uh, nice day here on the wind finder now, so I'll check the wind. Okay, so barometric air pressure like you can see today, 1000, that is way too low. Um, I'll look at a 1011, then I'll probably go fishing, but as you can see it's already raining. So that day's out, uh, raining, 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 that day's out, but that is good barometric pressure. That's what you want. That's what you're looking for. 1015, 1017, 1018, 1019. That's a good stable 
barometric air pressure that's that's happening um, in the Nasna area. Um, okay, it continues on Saturday and then it starts to drop. So Saturday will probably be a good day. Okay, so now we're looking at the wind because you have, now you've determined that the barometric air pressure will be fine um, during the day and then dropping, but this is way too low again. So um, the fish will feed on this on this turning. And now we just need to figure out is this wind too much or is it fine? So if you can determine that uh, <clears throat> 24 uh, kilometer and the 33 gust is fine for you, that's 5 o'clock in the afternoon and even 8 o'clock, it's still pumping at 20 to 33. It's only dying down at 11, so that's going to be an uncomfortable night. Um, it's coming east. Let's just check this, Buffalo's Bay. Going to the other one now. Uh, this was, let me just check what day is this, Saturday. So let's go to Saturday here. Yeah. Saturday, there you can see. Uh, it's a east northeast east east no, northeast. What nice is the temperature is going to be 20 degrees during the night, so that's not too bad um, if you want to stay on the night. See, it's not dropping down Saturday afternoon. Sunday still pumping. Let's see what's happening here. Sunday dropping down. So the two are a little bit different. Um, so I have to check that out. It is only. Tuesday today, so I still got some time, but I'm showing you what what I'm looking for what I'm what I look at before I go fishing Okay, so those days are out because it's raining Friday is actually looking pretty good 1920 um, yeah, Friday is actually looking like a pretty good um, day Fishing into Saturday. Yes, so I might go out on Friday. Okay now I'm gonna go back from Friday, so I decided now, barometric air pressure is looking good, the rain has stopped, now I'm going to go and look at Friday, the tide, okay, so Friday's tides is high tide, 324, so you're going to have low tide at 9.50, at 10 in the evening you'd have low tide, so that's actually pretty nice, you'll be able to put your boat in at 3.35, uh, 4 o'clock, you'll be able to launch your boat. Uh, on high tide. On high tide it's always a lot easier to launch a boat um, on slips. Uh, the, the slips are nice and it's much easier just to launch on high tide sometimes. It's a nice steep one but other tides, other slips are a little bit, um, you need some water there. So 4 o'clock launch or even a 5 o'clock launch will be perfect and then you'll fish the outgoing tide up until 10 o'clock. So and then round right about normally takes an hour more. Um, in, in the estuary. So then we'll go from 11 o'clock, the tide will turn and that will be perfect fishing time. From 11 o'clock, we'll fish, fish then to the next morning's high tide, which is 4 o'clock, but in the estuary a little bit later, 5 o'clock. So that's just after the time, um, after sun, uh, sunrise. So sunrise is 5.23, first light is 4.55. So you're going to fish that that first hour of sunlight which is the best time for fishing so that might be a, a very good time depending on the wind because as you can see here magic seaweed is predicting a lot of wind but this is at buffles bay remember this is buffles bay wind guru for friday and saturday is predicting nice during the night it's dropped down to 13 and 11 uh, kilometers per hour so and the barometric air pressure is stable. There was a stable day there, stable day, and stable and dropping. So on that dropping, dropping, it will they will probably feed. So that's looking like a very good day to go fish. So probably, most probably, I will go out on Friday evening and Saturday morning. Um, for I'll still decide whether I'm going for grunter or for cob. Um, it's not on spring tide, so you won't have all the grass and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that's how I decide that, um, how to go fishing, first day how to go spear fishing or how not to go spear fishing, then next option will be deep sea fishing, uh, next option will be um, estuary fishing. Okay guys, and that is how I decide on the weather. Um, I hope that it was help, well, helpful to you. Um, and I hope that you uh, can learn something from that. Um, and please subscribe to the channel. We've just hit 5,000 subscribers. 
and we're growing so nicely so thank you for all the comments thank you for all the subscribers thank you for all the likes and thank you for all the notification bells you guys are superstars you're really helping out a lot so and i hope to see you soon and i hope to make a maybe let's go for a cop video um on friday afternoon and see if my predictions works